G'day everyone. This is a really crappy angle. What if I turn around here? What about there? If I go there, you can see the creek in the background, but I'm all shaded out. So I'll go here, because I'm facing into the sun now. This is Colombo Creek in Riverina, New South Wales. One of my favourite places. I caught my only ever catfish in this creek. Over the years I've caught one redfin, one catfish, one Murray crayfish, and about 88 million carp. <laughs> I just love this area. I do a lot of photography out here. Today we've found some bearded dragons, some birds. It's just been a wonderful trip. And now I'm going to wet a line and see if I can catch a couple more carp to add to the collection. And who knows if I'm really lucky, maybe another catfish or redfin. Now, I have fished in this creek several times, as I said in the intro, but never in this particular spot. It's not overly deep, but it's certainly deep enough. Here's my beloved Black Queen. With, could be dicing with death with this weeny little sinker here, but I'll uh, see how I go. There's a lot of current in Colombo Creek, although here there's a nice bit of a backwater as it comes around, so here should be okay. Oh, how did I miss that? I just said to my wife, I thought I would have had a bite by now, and then I got an epic bite, and I raced out and it was gone. I couldn't hit this bastard. Got him. What have I got? It's actually not fighting carpy. I don't like to say too much, because I normally get it wrong when I do. I say it's not fighting carpy, and it's a carp. <laughs> If I say it's fighting just like a carp, I catch a trout cut. If I say it's not fighting like a carp, I catch a carp. Alright, grab my fish grips. The Colombo Creek mud marlin. And that takes the tally to 88 million and one. I'm going to keep my eye on this other rod here. Now he's going carpy, he's uh, zigzagging all over the place. But not even a big carp, like he's, he's beefy, but he's not anywhere near big. Nothing like some of the carp I've been catching lately. In fact, it'd be a nice plate size uh, carp if you're that way inclined. Come on, mate. It's not the end of the world. Well, kind of is for you. 
So there we have it. That is a European carp, Colombo Creek strain. <laughs> here we go, getting a nibble here. Just getting a nibble. He wants it, he wants it. Got him. Whoa! Game on. Number two. Fishing's actually been a little bit slow here. I've, uh, oh, my wife's with me. My wife and I have been sitting here for about probably an hour and a half. And this is only the, uh, the third bite. The first one I missed. The second one I caught that carp. And now I've got another carp, I think. Yeah, similar size. Maybe his twin brother. There's been a couple of carp jumping way over the other side of the creek there near those those rushes or reeds or whatever they are. This one might be a little bit bigger than the last one I think, but still no monster. Just gonna, you often see me look around while I'm reeling the fish in, it's because I'm looking at the other rod there. While I'm waiting for this fish to tire out, I've got to tell you something bizarre that happened to me. I'm just sitting here quietly, watching my rods, and a wood duck came and landed on this tree just here and started giving me some cheek. He was full of wise quacks. <laughs> Come on, fish. Time to go, uh, time to go north to heaven. Putting a bit of a bend in the wild bait stick. This is my main, this is my number one trout rod and reel combo, the Shimano Stratic with the wild bait stick. The four pound Maxima Ultra Green. We're actually camping up here for the night, so I needed a two-piece rod, so I was able to bring the Black Queen, which is in that other rod holder. And I bought this one as well. The other reason I bought this, uh, this rod is because in case I go somewhere like Finley Dam or somewhere nearby, there might be a few redfin. I've got a light rod and reel to flick a few soft plastics and spinners and stuff around. Come back. Come back. Fishy, come back. Another one. I think this one's a bit bigger. In fact, I'm pretty sure he is. Not a lot bigger. Maybe one or two millimeters bigger. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, I didn't get the hook up. I just put this in, I just cast it out. Then as I set it down on the rod holder, a fish grabbed hold of it. It was, wouldn't have been in the water for like 10 seconds. I kid you not, this rod has been sitting there for about two hours, hasn't had a bite. Has not had a bite, not even a nibble. So I, uh, Put a fresh worm on, sat it down, I wasn't even filming, and I thought, why is my rod tip bouncing? And there's a 30 great carp on it. This is the Black Queen. This would not have been in the water for five, probably five or six seconds. I cast out there, locked the, I flipped the bail arm over, it was reeled in the slack, and all of a sudden it started bouncing. I picked it up, and there's a fish on it. And it's quite a heavy carp at that. <laughs> you wouldn't, you couldn't write that in a book. That was so quick. Sat there for two hours without as much as a nibble. This is significantly larger than the other ones. I'll go around this tree that the duck was sitting on. Right, I've got my fish grips. Rightio. This one's quite a bit heavier than the other two that I got on that other rod earlier. I can't believe how quick that happened. <laughs> Sat there for two hours without a bite. It's almost like I landed on his head and fell hooked him in the mouth as I was sinking. <laughs> this is much larger than the other two. Still not a monster. I've caught bigger. I've caught a lot bigger just recently actually, but he's still quite a reasonable carp. I've beached him. Look at that. 
fucking beached. Son of a beach. You are beached. Look at that. That is, uh, that is much bigger than the other ones. That's huge actually compared to the other two that I caught. That's double the size, I reckon. Double the weight, probably half as long. And again, taking on a bunch of worms. You little ripper. Columbo Creek. Love it up here. I love this area. I love everything about it. Look at the beautiful golden hues in them trees over there as the last of the, the day's sun rays hit them from behind. A couple of ducks up there flying past. I can hear the, the parents' tree frogs. Just an absolutely glorious part of the world and one of my favourites. I love it. Now to show you what just happened with that last fish, I put on some fresh worms like this. The other worms had been there for about two hours and hadn't had a touch, so I thought I'd put some fresh ones on. I cast it out round about there. I let it sink like it just had. I put it in, on the rod, rod holder. I reeled in the slack like that. And then I stopped with about there. All of a sudden I started bouncing, instantly. <laughs> Jesus, someone just grabbed that and taken off with it. Gee, I'm lucky I was sort of semi watching that rod. It was right here in the shallows, next to that bush. I thought I'm going to head home shortly, so I'll put it in close just for something different. Look, to be honest with you, I put it in there in, in the hope that I might pick up a catfish. I have caught, I've caught one catfish in this creek, so I know they are here or they were here. I have no idea at all what the catfish regulations are in New South Wales, so if I did hook one, I would have just unhooked it anyway. But I don't think this is one. I think this is a, uh, well this is the smallest carp of the day. Isn't it amazing that even a carp of this smallish sort of size can put up such a good fight. They really are the freshwater fighters, these fish. Did that other rod get a bite? Getting so many bites now that my wife's car they're coming to the rescue. They really are the freshwater fighters. Even such a small fish, that little carp almost pulled my rod in the drink. All right, mate. Say your prayers, little one. Don't forget my son, to include everyone. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. I don't know whether you call these guns. They might have been guns 20 years ago when I was a young bloke. And I don't know where the sun is, but it's not out, it's uh, gone to bed. It's just stuck its head over the horizon. I have had a wonderful time up here catching some of the Columbo Creek carp. I was hoping to catch a catfish, as you heard me say in the video. Now, I don't know what the catfish rules and regulations are in New South Wales. Had I caught one, I definitely would have put it back regardless. I was just hoping to catch anything. And I caught four or five carp, so I've had a blast. If you can see someone moving over my shoulder, that's my wife. She's just keeping her eye on the rods while I film this scene because I don't want a great big Columbo Creek carp to take off with either of my fishing rods because then they almost done it earlier. Now on a serious note, I've read a lot about this drought and I've heard about this drought. I've heard about the palmer for a farmer and the guy that does the hay runs and Australians are fantastic at uniting together. But it wasn't until I came up here to Urana, which is only about an hour, hour and a half north of Wangaratta, that I realised just how dry it is. It is terrible up here. As far as the eye could see, there is brown grass, dry clay, dust, and dry dams. It is terrible, I kid you not. It is like walking around in the middle of January, and it's still September. It's going to be a very long, hot spring and summer. So spare a thought for the, the farmers living off the land up here, because this is really devastating. Where I live down in Wangaratta, we're lucky. It's, we've got a green drought, and it's, the grass is quite green most of the places. But the dams are really low, but there's a good flow of water in the streams and creeks. Up here, it is really, really barren. And I'm, I was really shocked at just how bad this drought is. But there's no point complaining because there's not much we can do about it. But I do feel for the farmers and hopefully next year is a bumper season for them so that they can bounce back. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, so, 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 if, you, if you haven't already subscribed, why not do so? <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video and I just f***ed up yet another uh, final scene. <laughs>